ओम शांति स्पेशल रिमेम्बरेंसेस फ्रॉम बागदादा दादीस ऑल द मधुबन निवासीस एंड ऑल ऑफ यू आर सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ टावर ऑफ पीस एंड आई एम आल्सो सिटिंग इन इन द प्रेस वेयर दादी जान की सेट्स एंड जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू Daddy Janki's gaddi, not on her gaddi, but just opposite to Daddy Janki's gaddi, because we get lot of inspiration from Daddy's, and especially from Daddy Janki. Whenever Daddy Janki used to sit here, and she used to talk about Baba, talk about Tower of Peace, talk about the services in abroad. So today, Bab Dada is with us, and Daddy Prakash Mani, Pyari Mama, and Didi Man Mohini, and Daddy Janki, and all the senior sisters and brothers. They all are with us. Especially, they all are looking at you because you all are very, very special children of Bab Dada. And whenever Baba. Used to talk about the children from abroad. Some are the one who are from India, but busy there in spiritual services in abroad. But some are the one who are in abroad. But Baba has already mentioned those who are in abroad, but they are from Madhuban. They have gone there for the service of Baba. To glorify Baba in the whole world, so welcome to your own home. And Baba is looking at all of you and giving very, very special love to each and every soul. So I was thinking, we are so fortunate that Baba has selected us, and Baba has made such a huge, big family. And we belong to such a big family, and this family is so beautiful, so good, and this family is such a fortunate one because Baba himself selected them, as well as Baba is taking care of this family, as well as Baba is sustaining us. So we all are very, very fortunate ones. And special ones because Baba has selected all of us. So when I was thinking about the family, how Baba established, how how Baba established the yagya, and for maintaining this yagya, for maintaining this Brahman life, to go ahead in this Brahman life, how Baba made the system. And what is the foundation of the system? And what are the rules and regulations and principles for Brahman life as well as for the Yagya? As Baba established this Yagya in 1936-37, so at that time, the what was the base for establishing the Yagya? The base was love, and because of Shri Baba's love, Baba established this yagya. And when this yagya was established, and there was a lot of beautiful scenes, there were so many rules and regulations. There were so many principles. But those principles and rules and regulations were so simple, so easy. The sisters and brothers who recognized Baba, they did not realize that we are following the principles, we are following the rules and regulations of the yagya. First was what was the foundation of the yagya? The first foundation of the yagya was that is. True love of Shri Baba with the children, and because of true love, 
Baba selected his children from different places in that place. And when children came to know about that true love, sisters and mothers, they were coming to the Yagi, they were running to the Yagi, they were staying in the Yagi, and they immediately followed all the principles and all they followed all the rules and regulations. And what was the reason? Without asking, without listening anything, they all started to follow all the principles. The reason was that Shiv Baba and Brahma Baba, first of all, created that image in front of those sisters and brothers, their original image of purity. Because you are the soul, your original sanskar, your original nature. So though, then Baba emerged all those nature, sanskar, and virtues and qualities. And because of that sanskar of purity, the atmosphere was complete pure. And that was complete full of all the experiences. So when the sisters and brothers were coming there, so they were getting the experience of their originality. They were getting the experiences of their original sanskars of the soul. And they were also getting the experiences of the golden age world. And they, that was the reason they all started to adopt all the principles like purity, celibacy and pure food and all other principles, they will merge in all those principles and their society members and the family members and other people were unable to understand what happened this, why they are doing this, why they are leaving their home, why they are going there and why they are leading a pure life. And Baba did not do anything Baba created that atmosphere and that atmosphere helped them, guided them to make their life in that. So for the last, uh, for the 14 years, at that time, they all were getting different kinds of the experiences. Baba wanted the children First of all, you be an embodiment of all those experiences. Be an embodiment of your original own sanskar, that is a sanskar of purity. Be an embodiment of your royal sanskar of the golden age world. So that was the reason they all adopted all these sanskars. And because of those sanskar, there was no other space to get the old sanskar, to think of old sanskar, to think of how to follow Mariada, how to follow the rules and regulation, and how to follow the principles of Brahman life, and how to follow the principles of this yet. So when this uh, yagi shifted to Bharat, at that time Baba sent all the dadis for the service to different places in Bharat, to Delhi, to Punjab, to Maharashtra, to Pune, and different places, Kanpur, UP Sai. So when these dadis went to different places to give Baba's message, at that time, they were not giving such a knowledge. They were talking about knowledge very little, very little. They were saying, you are a soul, this is not your, this is your body, you are playing your part. But as soon as they were looking at dadis, they were getting the reason of gods and goddesses, they were getting the reason of their east, they were getting the reason of the golden age world, they were getting the reason of the Krishna and uh, gopis and gopis. So that is the way Baba has created such an atmosphere that was full of you, full of purity, 
full of love. And now we have to understand when we become Baba's children, we listen knowledge, we do practice, we do a lot of yoga. Then sometime when we came to, in the beginning, when we came to Baba, it was so easy for us to follow all the principles, all the maryadas of Brahman life. But after some time, we feel it is difficult. Sometimes we feel how long we can do it. But I was thinking about Baba, how Baba made it so easy. The first step, what are the steps? What are the founding places? What can we do in our Brahmin life? First thing is that Sakar Baba, he looked at his children. She Baba said, they all are my children. Brahma Baba also says, all the children, whether they are rich, whether they are poor, whether they are very intelligent, some are not intelligent, their intellect is not so developed, but Baba says, if they, one person says, I belong to Baba, he or she is a VVIP soul. Baba loves each and every child. And Baba says, in this confluence age, I get so many children and I'm so fortunate. My family is so huge. And we Brahmas should also have that had thought that we are so fortunate. We have such a huge Brahmin family. Though we'll go into the golden age world, at that time we all will be together, but at that time we won't recognize that we all belong to one family. So this is a feeling we can get in this confluence age. I tell you one story about Sakar Baba. You know, whenever Sakar Baba is, wherever Sakar Baba is there, the whosoever is Baba, they were running after Baba. One day what happened, Baba was walking, and when Baba used to walk, children are with Baba, and children like to hold Baba's hand. And uh, one day what happened, how many can hold Baba's hand? Two person can hold Baba's hand, one is holding right hand and another one is holding the left hand. One day Baba said, okay, all children come, all children come. The children came and then Baba put his one right, right hand in front. Baba said, okay, five children hold it five fingers. One child is holding one finger, another child is holding another finger. So five children were holding one one finger. Then five children were holding left hand five finger. Then five children were putting their hand on Baba's hand. And then other children were putting their hand on Baba's hand. And then some children were putting their hand on Baba's shoulder. And then some children were standing behind Baba. And that scene was so beautiful, so beautiful. It was looking like a big, beautiful tree. And Baba said, you know, how many children I have? I'm so fortunate. I have so many children and Baba was giving so much love to them. So at that time, what happened? Everyone was getting that feeling that I am the one holding Baba's hand and Baba is holding my hand. So Baba created the first base of the Yedge first base of our Brahmin life, the first step of the foundation of Brahmin life, it is love. And second step of our Brahmin life, that is realization. Realization about self, realization about my father, realization about my family, realization about my role, realization about my part in the golden age world. So Baba made us to realize that you are the one original soul. You are the one pure soul. 
you are the one who were perfect soul you were the one who were had all the virtues and qualities you know when children were coming in front of sata baba and baba never saw the defeat and the shortcomings of the children sometimes children were coming in front of baba and the children were thinking i have this weakness i have this weakness and the one who were the guide or teacher who was coming with that child and she was also thinking that this child has this weakness and uh, she was worried about that she was thinking to tell about this to baba so whenever they were coming in front of baba baba was praising lord baba was talking about their future baba was talking about their fortune and then baba used to say child you want to say anything then at that time the child would realize then he used to tell baba i felt now i have still this and that weaknesses within myself then baba said now you got the realization after realization you can overcome these weaknesses so this was baba's way to teach the children how to realize yourself so when we keep that form in front of us our perfect form in front of us so slowly and slowly we come to know what efforts i have to make to make myself perfect and this, there is an example about sakar baba for sakar baba shri baba made it fix that he is the one going to be naran but still brahma baba used to go sit in front of the picture of narana and baba used to see that picture and baba used to make efforts though i am going to become narana but whether i have adopted all those virtues qualities in my life so baba used to pay attention on those qualities virtues as well as if i am the ruler so what are the principle i have to adopt so baba used that also in his life i am going to be naran naran means the maharaja naran means the ruler so i have to become the ruler of self i have to become the ruler in such a way that other children should also get the sustenance so this was baba who was checking not only checking but he was also making efforts to fill all the qualities and for this baba made his daily chart daily routine so what he was going to do in the night when he used to get up two o'clock at three o'clock baba used to sit in silence and make efforts for self self not transformation but what can i say baba is already transformed baba used to make efforts to fill the soul with all the qualities with all the powers to enjoy shri baba's love that is janki used to then baba used to sit in the morning meditation and churn on baba's murli point and churning on churning about the golden age world churning on the cycle that janki used to tell once i went to see baba in the morning baba was uh, uh, sitting in the meditation and after finishing the meditation baba said child you know what i was doing i was making i was preparing halwa for the children what kind of halwa halwa was like that baba is preparing baba was churning and baba was preparing the points for the children how to make it easy how to digest how to get more power you know halwa is like that so so easy to eat so easy to digest and it is very healthy it gives lot of power so that is why baba paid attention 
on self baba paid attention for the children and he looked up to the children with great love a third foundation is third step is that that is that is we have to make determined thought in our life as this morning baba was mentioning that you have to make the determined thought with a determined thought you can adopt those principles in your life and fourth is that we have to become an embodiment of all those virtues and qualities so now we have to see how can we adopt the principles the maryadas in our brahmin life we know if any family if any community if any society is there each family each community each society each city each country or whatever is if someone is there they make a uh, they make a business and they start a office so each one has the rules and regulations of the family rules and regulation for the community rules and regulations for the society rules and regulation for the country or for the city in the same way we should have that understanding in our life that we are baba's new born children this is our original family we though we are living in the whole world but we are dead alive so now we have to forget the old world old sanskar because these old sanskars they become obstacle in the path of our brahman life old sanskar they create the hindrances on the path of brahman life and because of old sanskar we become lazy we tell so many excuses what should i do this is my sanskar this is my nature i can't do i can't help it so we create these old sanskar and because of old sanskar our nature becomes lazy and our pusharat our efforts becomes weak and we become very careless in our efforts that is why baba says you have to be very careful and you should always have this intoxication now i belong to such a beautiful family in this beautiful family our principle is love our other principle is to create pure atmosphere so for this what baba says love yourself how love yourself that i am the one who was full of all the virtues now i have recognized baba baba has told me everything let me recognize all those quality and fill those quality and for this baba always tell us never be disheartened in one of the murli baba was telling never be disheartened never create uh, inferiority in fear some thoughts in purity complex in yourself never get get this sanskar i can't do how can i do baba always says there is no impossible word in the dictionary of brahmin so baba always you know when children were coming in front of baba and uh, baba used to talk about the uh, their qualities about the children and sometimes the children were coming in front of baba and baba used to say oh child you have this quality you do so good work now you can do what you do you add one more point if you add this sanskar in yourself you can make yourself perfect like for example one is very good in physical work then baba used to tell oh child 
you do physical work very accurate way, in a nice way. And now what you have to do, you add, you add few points of murli and start to speak and give knowledge to others. Slowly and slowly, they were able to imbibe that quality and they were able to get more intoxication, to imbibe more, uh, to imbibe all the principles, to follow all the principles in a proper way. So that is why Baba says, we have to love ourselves, we have to love Baba. And Baba says some children, they love Baba. But when they love Baba, they always give on complaining to Baba. Baba, I can't do yoga. What should I do? I, my yoga is very weak. I can't remember you, Baba. I tell you one story what happened. Once there was a, a meeting with Avik Baba in Om Shanti Bhur. So at that time, the groups uh, were coming in front of Baba, meeting Baba. So what happened, there was one group, and the group group were coming in front of Baba. There was one foreign brother. He said, I will ask from Baba, tell Baba, Baba, I can't remember you. So when their turn came, they were sitting in front of Baba, and by giving Vishti to that child, Baba told him, you are a constant yogi. And all others started to laugh. Baba said, what happened? Why are you laughing? They said, Baba, he says, I can't remember Baba. Baba says, what he is doing? He says, Baba, I can't remember you. Baba, I can't remember you. What he is doing? He is remembering Baba, but in a reverse way. You know, when someone drives the car, if he is driving the car, if he starts driving the car in a reverse way, what he will do? He hit the wall, he will hit somewhere. But whenever there is need to reverse the car, at that time you can reverse, not all the time to drive in a reverse way. So that is why all these maryadas, rules and regulations always are with us. Whenever there is a turning point, they help us to turn. Whenever there is a point to think about the future, they help us to think about the future. Whenever is, there is turning point to think about drama, so that is why Baba says, think about that. So these principles, they help us to go on the right way, to create a right atmosphere, the atmosphere of unity in the family, and that system, that uh, system also helps us to make us to more powerful, more positive, more enthusiastic. So that is why Baba says the first principle is that to love Baba, to love yourself, to love for high education, the study, to love all the maryadas, and to take care of yourself and take care of the yogi. I want to tell you one more story about Baba. So when Baba was walking somewhere, children used to see Baba, they used to run after Baba. Once what happened, it was uh, evening time after 7.30, all had dinner and everything finished. And Baba was walking in the courtyard and children ran and ran and after Baba and they started to walk with Baba. Then Baba said, where is Mama? Because then some said, Mama is not here. Baba said, no, Mama is here. Children said, no, Baba, Mama is not here. Baba said, okay. Baba sent one sister and told Baba to that sister, go and look, where is Mama? And she went, Mama was taking, walking in the kitchen side and she was so intoxicated she was in full of love for Baba and walking in the kitchen side. Then she came and she told Baba, the Mama was walking in the kitchen side. Mama said, you know, she's so careful. She knows all the children have gone. 
and no one is there, if something is there, who is responsible? And mama is the one who is responsible, taking care of each and everything. So Baba says, the responsibility of self, the responsibility of self-transformation, the responsibility of the yogi, this is also one kind of a system. Mariada means system. Principle means system. The way we follow system in our life, that makes us perfect. I want to tell a story about uh, uh, Didi Man Mohini. You know, this is the month of Didi Man Mohini. And Didi Man Mohini, Mama was also very strict about all the uh, Mariada's principles. And Baba was also very strict about Mariada's and principles. Baba was very, very loveful, very light, very entertaining. And Baba used to take the children to the, sometime to the mountains. But at that time, Baba used to tell, you're climbing the mountains. So while climbing the mountains, we have to keep our step very careful, not to slip. So that is what Baba said. Our Brahman life is to climb the mountains because we are going on the high stage. We are going on the we are going to Paramdham. We are going to the golden age world. So that is why Baba says your stage is so high. You have to keep your step very, very careful. And then sometime Baba used to take the children to the ocean side. At that time, Baba used to tell, you are standing near the ocean, very loveful, very beautiful waves are coming that are touching our heart and you always be with the ocean of love. You will get all the touchings from Shiv Baba. So like that, Baba was also telling us to have a balance, to be full, be strict on Mariada, be light and be careful and not become careless. So I want to talk to you about Didi Manmohini. Didi Manmohini was very, very strict on all the Mariadas, and she was an example. I tell you in the night class, sometime in the night class when uh, we used to have, so Didi used to have, first bell was ringing, and after that Didi will come in the courtyard of Pandavan. Didi will say, oh, second bell has ringing, second bell has come, second bell has come, as soon as Didi comes, everyone runs to the class. So then she used to make laugh, everyone make light. She used to tell, be punctual, we follow all the principle and we uh, be Mariada you, but be light. And then she was very particular about all the systems and about Murli and all the Mariadas. Because I was staying here in Madhuvan from uh, 1974 permanently. So at that time, Didi used to take care of us. And every day I had to go see Didi. In the morning after Murli class, I have to, uh, after breakfast, uh, Murli class write letters, post it, and then breakfast. After breakfast, go to Didi. And when we go to Didi, at that time, Didi will ask question from Baba Murli. So at that time, we never had Murli in our hand. And we did never get Murli in our hand. Whatever we listen in the class, we have to remember. So at that time, we were a little bit uh, concerned. I was a little bit afraid Didi will ask question, what reply I will give. So at that time, what I used to do, I asked few points from others, remember the points from Murli and then go to Didi. And when I go to Didi, Didi used to ask question, then I used to give answer. So at that time, I we did not realize why Didi is doing so much for us, why she's paying a lot of attention on us. But after that, I realized, now whenever we read Murli, every point, everything goes in her. So these dadis, those who followed the Mariadas, 
they were an embodiment of each and every point and we have we have learned from them in the beginning we don't understand later we get that virtue automatically in our life and that also becomes our sanskar that we become an embodiment of that then what happened in the night every day i have to go and see didi every night and in the night didi used to ask during the whole day what you did it so i used to tell because from the very from the very beginning my nature was like that till now whatever task is given i do it by heart and uh, pay full attention and i never ask why all are standing here all are getting this chance i'm doing this task so i never ask for that so didi used to ask every day what you did so i used to tell today i did this today i did this one day i told her in the since morning till night evening i was doing all this work and tomorrow i am going tomorrow morning i am going to do this uh, task she said what are you doing this sit down here i said what happened she said uh, since morning till evening you are doing this task when you remember baba i told didi didi i remember baba how can i do task without remembering baba she said i tell you the you she told me in the night before going to bed you give full stop to those task those action you have done during the whole day and don't think for tomorrow's plan and give full stop give bindi and if you think for tomorrow's plan in the night you will get dreams about that and tomorrow morning when you get up the thoughts by chance some other important plan has come baba has given you some another important plan dadi is giving you something important plan and you will think i made this plan i have to finish that you will feel this term think whatever drama comes next day i have if you could not get any other plan continue your plan which you did in the night so that was the reason these dadis and didis they have made all the principles in their life and because of the principles they were becoming an embodiment of all those qualities so for our life adopting all those principle we have to create the positive atmosphere in our mind we have to create the pure thoughts in our mind we have to create the pure atmosphere around us we have to create loveful atmosphere pure atmosphere and positive atmosphere those who are around us and send the pure vibration to the world to the nature to the human being then slowly and slowly this will become our natural habit this will become our natural task like we uh, talk our hands are moving here from here to there when we see our eyes move here and there these are natural movement and because of our original form so our all these maryadas they become the natural base the natural sanskar the natural action our self and after this what we have to do so we have to whatever task we do we should do in such a way i tell about uh, mama you heard the stories about mama but i can tell you one story how mama was teaching to the sisters when baba used to give any duty to the sisters sister used to say baba we have come we did not know how to do this work how can we do this we cannot do this work baba used to tell mama that mama this task has to be completed by this evening or after 2 3 hours 
So mama used to tell the sisters, Baba has given us this duty, this task to do this work. And sometimes sister used to tell, Mama, how can we do? We didn't learn anything. How can we do? We never know about this. Mama used to tell, Baba has a faith. Baba knows that you can do this. Okay, let's do, start it. And then mama used to give them encouragement and they all start doing and the task is finished within two, three hours. And then Baba used to tell, you should not say, how can we do it? We never did it. But when you born, you did not know about this. Slowly and slowly you have to uh, emerge your good sanskaras. You have to emerge your all, all the sanskaras of ruling in the new world. Not only Baba will be the become ruler, but you will be very close to Baba. You will be very close to royal families. Then another story I tell you, you about Mama. Uh, once what happened, one sister scolded to other sister, not scolded, guided her, because she did task in a different way, not in a right way. And that sister felt something wrong. Huh? Why is she telling me like that? And she started to cry. And then whole night she was crying. She said, let me go to mama and give complaint against her to mama. She went to mama next day and told mama, I was telling you such a, um, in such a way, mama, she did like this. I can't tolerate like this. Mama said, oh, what happened? She said, I didn't sleep all night. I was crying. Mama said, you were hurted so much. She said, Mama, I didn't come to meditation. Mama said, okay. Then I didn't come to Murli class. Then I didn't uh, uh, do my duty. Then what I did, I shared this with my uh, friend. Mama said, oh, oh, you suffered a lot. Then Mama said, listen, that sister spoke to you for once. She did one mistake. And how many mistakes you have done it? You cried, one mistake. You hurted yourself, another. You did not sleep, third. You did not do meditation, four. You did not attend classes, that is, or Miss Murli class, five. Then you did not come to her duty. And then she would say, mood is off. Then you share those thoughts with the other, your friend, and how much? You spoiled your time. Immediately that sister realized, Mama, oh, sorry. I did so many mistakes. In future, I won't do this. So this was the way of Mama and Baba to teach the children how to make yourself free from such kind of these thoughts, for such kind of these little, little things. We spend a lot of time on little things. We spend a lot of time on others thinking. We think of others. We do for others. We think about others. We say, why they are doing this? We should not do this. They should not do this. So I want to tell you one more story about Avit Baba. There is a one more story about Avit Baba. And once what happened, uh, Baba said, if you think any sanskar of any child, that means you are stealing that sanskar of that child. And if the thief steals anything from someone's house, that thief will never use that thing. He will transform that thing. He will hide that thing from one place to another place, another place to another place, another place to another. Keep on hiding and hiding. Neither he can use it. So Baba says, if you think of all sanskars of anyone, neither you are able to keep those sanskars with yourself, nor you are able to adjust with those sanskars, and those sanskars become a thorn within your efforts, and that are hurting all the time. And when they are hurting all the time, and that affects on our state, then we become uh, lazy, why should I make effort? They, these people don't make effort. Why should I follow this principle? They are not following principle. 
So Baba said, they are not falling. Why you are doing like this? So Baba said, don't think the old sanskars of anyone. Live in your high consciousness. As Baba used to live all the time in high consciousness. But when I like today, Baba was telling when Baba Baba was such a such a fertile business. When Baba came to know she Baba is doing this, I am going to become the ruler. Immediately Baba left that business and then Baba uh, lived in that high consciousness. And while looking after the yagi, there were so many problems came. Problems means uh, so many obstacles came. But Baba was all the time in that consciousness. This is Baba's task. She Baba's task, he will do, but he was not upset. He always lived in that positive uh, consciousness. Baba will make it all right and everything was becoming all right. So in this way, if we live in that high consciousness, we are able to imbibe all the principles in a very simple, very easy way, in a very natural way. So you have a nice time. Enjoy Baba's company. Baba is always with you and you are always under the umbrella of Baba's love. And behind you now, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can show you because now it's with the and uh, for all the yeah. Open it. All Open the it. You can, okay, you can see it over, please. Uh, not yes. yet. Yes. Not yet. No. We're. I think all. Well, I'm missing one. I think okay. Everything. Yeah, open this one. Okay, so you are saying you can come through your mind in front of Tower of Peace, sit in the in the Tower of Peace, and enjoy their beautiful uh, uh, mango trees are there, uh, in for, just opposite to Tower of Peace. And uh, every day we get that uh, in the night when we go ten o'clock, say good night to Baba, and stand in front of uh, Tower of Peace. Sometimes the mangoes are coming falling from the tree. And uh, mango trees are yeah, small, small mangoes, very beautiful, very tasty, very sweet. So you can open your mouth, Baba will send a mango to your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sashivan, that was lovely. Such a nice fragrance and a little taste of the mango, a little taste of Tower of Peace. Thank you so much. Okay, have a nice time. Okay, can you see now Tower of Peace? Um, not see Baba's yet. light? Maybe the other she one. Was, she the was other like, one. We can open it, another one. Don't open the uh, window. Let's see. But it is dark now because this rainy season time and the weather is very cloudy. That is why you can't see Tower of Peace. Okay, he can take a picture and show you. Okay. Good night. Have a sweet dream. Enjoy Baba's company. So she okay, just, okay. I'll play a song just one minute, just one minute, Drishti, and then we'll. I finish. can sing a song for you, okay? <laughs> oh, great! I Please. can sing a song for you, Wonderful. okay? Please. Okay. Chikarita he papa pas tere uriyaai pas tere uriyaai. जो पिंजरे से उड़ कर पंची नील गगन में जाए पास तेरे उड़ान ये करता है बाबा गण पास तेरे उड़ाए बस कुछ पल की बात है अब चलना घर साथ है ठीक करता है बाबा पास तेरे उड़ाए 
कोई शे ना बाती है अब याद घर की आती है करे इशारा किरण तुम्हारी जैसे वो हमें बुलाती है जैसे वो हमें बुलाती है ठीक रहता है हम पास तेरे उड़ाए बस कुछ पल की बात है फिर घर चलना साथ है हाथ में हाथ तिहारे बाबा ज्ञान की बरसात है करता है बाबा हम पास तेरे उड़ाए जो पिंजरे से उड़ कर पंची नील गगन में जाए पास तेरे उड़ाए ओम शांति